Hi folks, Dr. Ed Byer. Today we're going to be talking about uh, how blood sugar levels affect your thyroid. We just did a video on how your thyroid affects your blood sugar levels. Well, abnormal blood sugar levels can then impact your thyroid. This is how the body works, folks. One organ or one system can affect the other, and then that system can have negative impacts on the, on the system that originated it. So, and this is true with blood sugar. Now let's talk about elevated blood sugar levels. Now over 105 million Americans have a blood sugar problem where their blood sugar is going too high. If you're at 126 or above and if your hemoglobin A1C is at 6.5% or higher, we give that a name, it's called type two diabetes. What it really is, is insulin resistance. Insulin is no longer effectively getting the glucose into your cells. So what's gonna happen with high blood sugar levels, and there's a lot of players when it comes to the blood sugar game, not just diet and exercise, but thyroid, liver, pancreas, adrenal function, inflammation, pain will elevate, elevate your blood sugar levels. But whatever is elevating your blood sugar levels, what's going to happen is you're going to get these insulin surges. And insulin, when it's elevated, or when you get a surge of insulin, that is a common autoimmune trigger. And if you don't know it already, the number one cause of underactive thyroid is an autoimmune disease known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. You may know that you have it, you may have it and don't know it. We figure that out on all of our patients. But that's an autoimmune trigger and we have to get that under control if we're going to get your thyroid, especially at the autoimmune type. Let's talk about low blood sugar or what we would call reactive hypoglycemia, which is usually a problem in the adrenal glands. Now here, when your blood sugar goes too low, the hormone cortisol is going to be emitted in surges from the adrenal glands. And when cortisol is elevated, it's going to have some negative effects on your thyroid. How? Number one, it's going to cause pituitary gland suppression. And that's where TSH comes from. TSH is not a thyroid hormone. It's a brain hormone telling your thyroid to work. So the pituitary gland will become suppressed with elevated cortisol and you won't be able to, uh, to emit enough TSH to get your thyroid to work. You're not gonna convert T4, the inactive form, over to the active form T3, and your, the ability of your T3, the active form of thyroid, to get into the cells is gonna be inhibited. That's called thyroid resistance. I'm Dr. Byer, I hope that helps. Have a great day.